guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another series of surprise, surprise of my is it a no or a go first impression demo and review. And if you're new to my channel, by the way, my name is Ruby and I have these series. Basically what I do is if whenever I find a new product, whether from the drugstore or a high-end product, I instantly grab it and I try it out with you. That's why hence first impression demo and review. So at the end of every video, I pretty much go through each claim and I let you know if I think that the claim is true or not. And I basically answer if it's a no or a go. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing it on a drugstore product and I found it at Walmart for about 10 bucks. Um, I just wanna quickly give you the story before I show you what the product is. Um, yeah, I was at Walmart and I picked it up and I was wondering if I should buy it or not so I tried to look on um, YouTube for reviews. There was hardly any reviews on it. So I picked it up and this is why I'm doing this video so I can review it and you can see if you want to buy it or not. And it's going to be on the new drugstore product from Maybelline. It's a new Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. It's basically their eyeliner. Okay. So I'm going to be using um, my, just like a mirror down here to apply it so hopefully if I do this the camera still picks it up. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this the packaging. So first off, let me just quickly talk about the packaging itself. The pink and the black I think looks very girly and I really like it. It kind of draws your eye and it's very good marketing I think. I love how skinny it is. So it's supposed to twist up, and there, and it's pretty easy to twist up. So I'm just gonna swatch it. Ooh, that looks very dark. First swipe, I love. Um, it does feel like it has a gel consistency when I swiped it on, but now I'm super excited to try it on the eye. I like the tip so far. Just, um, just looking at it. So let's go and zoom in a bit so I can do my eye now and let's see how well it works. So I'm a bit closer. I'm going to start off with tight lining my eyes. If you don't like seeing this tight lining part, you might want to skip a little bit further. I'm sorry I do it a weird way, but that's just how I'm used to it. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put it under and close my eyes. Definitely getting on there. I don't know if you can see it right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom you in a bit closer and I'm gonna try and do the top part. Okay, so now we're even closer and I'm gonna look down and try to um, line the top of my eyes. I'm just gonna pull ever so lightly with my ring finger. Sorry about the broken. That is so super duper easy to use so far. Okay. This is the eye without and this is the eye with. So this is how it looks so far. I don't have the exact perfect line just because it's hard to film and do it at the same time. but. Because I'm doing like filming and doing it at the same time, I like it so far. So I'm gonna continue and try to do the rest of my eye. Try and get a wing as well. Um, there's a little bit of fallout down here. I don't know where that came from. I think it's from the products. I don't have any black eyeliner, so let me just quickly kind of flip that off. That's a little weird. Okay, now let's try to do the waterline real quick. It's gliding on nicely. It's like really easy to put on. Ooh, that is black. Okay, so I'm going to do my other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and this is how it looks on. I have the wing here, but I didn't fully flick it out. But it was a lot easier doing it on this eye just because I wasn't trying to rush. And for some reason, whenever I do my eyeliner off camera, it's a lot better. Anyways, it's um, this side is pretty crazy. But it wasn't that hard to use it. The trick is 
you kind of pull it up and just use it on the side, not like this. You want to use the side of it so it's still nice and sharp. As for the consistency, it is pretty gel-like. It's not exactly like a gel eyeliner, I'd say, but it's very close. The pigmentation is amazing. I'm very surprised at how dark it is. Um, just the one thing I will mention now, as you saw in the previous clip, hopefully the camera picked it up, but there was some, um, some product that dropped under the eyes, some fallout. I'm not sure if it's from the eyeliner, I'm assuming it is, just because I haven't had or I didn't put anything black on my eyes beforehand. But the good thing is I just kind of swept it away and it went away. But I am nervous in case it does fall out throughout the day because I am going to test it out because it says 24 hour wear. And I want to see if the pigmentation stays on the eyes and um, the waterline especially. And I hope it doesn't smudge as well. So I have so many things I want to test out. So I'm going to go ahead and go on with my day. I'm pretty sure it's around like 12 or 1 in the afternoon. Um, I am going to be going to the gym, so that's a pretty good test. I'm going to be going to the mall to pick up a few things. So I'm going to try and check in beforehand before I leave. But if I don't, I will see you in a few I will see you in a few hours and we'll check how this eyeliner does. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back check in and it is now 4.20 in the afternoon. I haven't went out yet. I'm just about to go to the mall and then I'm going to go to the gym and work out. I'm going to rock this eyeliner at the gym because I do want to test it out a bit more to see how well it wears after working out. But as of right now, looking down here in the mirror, there hasn't been any fallout, so I'm really happy with that. Um, it's still really vibrant. It's not faded since I put it on. Um, even the wing is still happening, so that's good. Um, so far, I'm liking it, but like I said, I'm going to go test it out a bit more, put it to the ultimate test, and I will be back to check in in just a few. Okay, so I'm back, and it has been a few days, so I've gotten a chance to really test this eyeliner out. I'd say it was about a week and a half ago since I did the first impression demo, the first part of this video. So I definitely know how I feel about the eyeliner, but what I like to do typically with my first impressions, demos, and review videos, I like to go through each claim first before letting you know, or letting you know if it's true or not, and then I go into my final question if it's a no or a go. So let's go ahead and do that first. Does it have a sharp, precise applicator? I definitely do think that it does. As you can tell, the tip is micro mini, and it can really get in like right in your eye areas that typically um, other eyeliners can't because it is so tiny, the point of the eyeliner. So I'd have to say again, yes. Does it have a gel-like consistency? I'd have to say for this one, I'd say it's kind of like, it's more, I guess, more similar to a gel but I don't think it's like a full-on gel consistency like a gel eyeliner. I do think it's a cross between a pencil and a gel. Does it glide on effortlessly? I don't think it's like super smooth gliding on because of the consistency, but I wouldn't say it like tugs on your eye or anything, so I guess it's pretty close to being smoothly when you put it on. Is it long-lasting? Does it last for 24 hours? I'd have to say for this one, especially on your eyelid, it does last for 24 hours and it stays vibrant. Um, on your waterline, I think it lasts close to 24 hours. I think it lasts a lot better than other drugstore eyeliners. On the waterline, I don't think it lasts as long. Is it waterproof? Um, I think it's pretty waterproof. I didn't get a chance to test it, like run it under the tap water, which I should probably have done that. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to. But I did wear it at the gym. Um, I'll put it in the clip right now. But as you can tell, I was pretty sweaty. Like my eyelids and everything was sweaty from working out. And the eyeliner on my waterline was uh, was staying on along with the eyeliner on my eyelid. So I'd say it's pretty waterproof or at least sweat proof. Is it pigmented? This one, let me swatch it for you. That's one swipe and it is definitely pigmented. So I do want to quickly mention, um, after using this, I did find that it does have fallout from time to time. So just be careful, um, just swipe it off and it doesn't smudge, so that's a good thing about it. Another thing I want to let you know is that when you put it on your waterline, it's not as pigmented if you've used it for, like, say, a few times because some of the product gets onto the eyeliner. So what I like to do is I like to take a tissue and just wipe it off and then when you use it, it is super pigmented again. And last thing is that when you twist it up, you cannot twist it down. That's one thing I really didn't like, especially since I kind of dropped the lid in my car and can't find it. So 
yeah, I, I always need to have it down or else it breaks off or, yeah, gets dirty. Anyways, the last question is, is this Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Eyeliner, is it a no or a go? I would have to say for me, it is a go. One, because I don't mind cleaning it off with all my eyeliners before I apply it again. Um, I always clean it off anyway, just for sanitary reasons and because it helps it become more pigmented because you're taking off all the product that was on there when you from when you used it last. And also, I don't mind the um, if it has a little bit of fallout just because you can just sweep it out especially because it's so pigmented and that's the one thing I look for in an eyeliner is how pigmented it is. So this is a definite go for me. Um, yeah, so if you don't mind doing those things, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Again, I got this at Walmart for only $10. Definitely worth the price. Also, I wanted to let you know, I don't have it on right now if you, in case you're wondering, just because I did just get eyelash extensions on and for about 8 hours you're not supposed to put anything around your eye area otherwise I would have it on for you right now also a quick side note if you wanna hear about my eyelash extension journey not journey experience comment down below and I'll do a video on that back to the eyeliner that's my experience with it I hope you enjoyed watching this video comment down below if you've tried this eyeliner and how your experience was I would love to hear about it and yeah that's pretty much it for this video Thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. That way you can be the first to know when I have a new video out. And also, if you like this video, press the like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Alright, um, that's it. I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye!